Um, as I mentioned to you before, my one of my last videos, I promised you guys a introduction into the stock market. So here it is. This is the introduction, I guess you can call it. But uh, so basically, the stock market, at least here in the U.S., which is where I invest all my money or a lot of my money into, um, it may be different between like let's just say the Canadian stock market or the stock market in Japan or China or India or wherever. But it's different. I'm not going to say it's hard or easy to do. If you put in the time, you put in the effort, you're going you're gonna to succeed. If you, or you may lose. I'm not going to, I can't tell you that, oh, if you invest with this company, you're going to make become the, the next billionaire. Or if you invest with that company, you may become a multi-billionaire. I'm not going to say that because it may not happen. It definitely hasn't happened to me. But at the end of the day, it's just like, it's a good supplement to your salary that you're making every year. Alright, so according to the La Bureau of Labor Statistics, which is part of the Department of Labor, um, if you work, if you w play on the stock market for let's just say, the entire year, put all your time into it, everything, you can, average salary is 90k. Average salary. Which is not, which is pretty good, actually. Not bad. But, like, it's, I'm saying it's a good supplement to your salary, mainly because, let's just say, you, let's just say you work at a 9 to 5 job for most of the year, let's just say, at Boeing. I don't know. That's the first thing that came to my mind. They're not a sponsor, so don't worry. But let's just say you work 95, you make 80k a year. Again, not bad. This is like oh, this is for like an engineering job. Let's just say, um, and you make 80k a year, and then you put like some money into stocks. That 80k could become let's just say 90k, or 100k, or something. Where like it's like that. I'm not saying. You should you shouldn't do this full time if you want to do it full time you're more than welcome to but I'm not gonna recommend it mainly because if especially if you have like a family or you're trying to get like established in life I don't suggest like doing putting like doing the stock market 24/7 I I really don't recommend it but like I said if you want to do it that's up to you but the stock market is very easy to understand it's not like what other people say or do or anything. It's like, if the stock market goes up, that's good for you. Excuse me. If the stock market goes down, that's bad for you. That's it. Not that hard. So, if I, like, I like Scott Trade and, and Charles Schwab. Those are the two companies I invested, but uh, used to, as a platform to invest money on. Um, Charles Schwab now, previously Scott Trade. Again, neither of them are sponsors. I'm just telling you what I use. Um, so you need to get a, onto a platform like Scott Trade, uh, Charles Schwab, TD Ameritrade, E-Trade, wh whoever else is uh, doing this. And, um, I w and basically ask them questions like, what is, for example, what is the minimum m amount of money I need to put in to account to make sure it doesn't, like, to m make it remain active. Uh, I know Charles Schwab, I'm sorry, I know Scott Trade is about 3K, if I'm not mistaken. Three thousand dollars. I know. I think Charles Schwab was all about the same. I, that, again, I could be dead wrong about this, but overall, it's really easy to understand. And put your like gra grasp around. So it's super, super easy. So, for example, if let's just say you let's just say you have an account with one of these big stock investor platforms, and um. <sighs> And let's just say you want to invest in Apple, which is, I think, about $100 a stock. I could be wrong. It's like $97, $98. About, let's just say it's $100. Make it easier on ourselves. And that $100, $100 goes up to, let's just say, $110. $10 right there you made. So basically, if you want to know how you made, like, how much money you made, you take the new value, let's just say it's went from 100 to 110 so the new values are 110 and you minus the initial investment that you put in meaning you have however much money you put in initially like before the stock market change you take that money out or take that money out 
So for example, if you put in $100 into Apple and buy one stock at $100 and that stock goes up to $110, you basically made $10. That's it. But on the other hand, if that $100 in that stock goes down to, let's just say, 90 you lost $10. So it really depends on what you want to do. Um, you can do either short term, long term, mix. It, again, it depends on you as the investor. Um, I like to do long term. That's just me though. I know a lot of friends who like to do short term, who like to do. I know some other people who like to do mixed. I know I have a good friend um, who basically who I introduced to the stock market. Um, he does something called CDs which is certified of deposits, which I will explain in another video sometime next week or whatever. But it'll be in one of the later videos in this playlist. So it's really easy to understand. So here's, this is the introduction. Um, if you have any questions or comments, leave it in the description box below. Uh, please subscribe, like this video, everything. Um, please leave a comment in the description on where, or in the comment section below. And if I could do something different, if I could improve this videos, uh, let me know. Alright, have a good one, guys.